Welcome everyone, this is uh, a project I've been working on. It's a mechanism to plug in uh, my car automatically when I arrive home uh, and start the charging. So at the heart of it, you've got a Raspberry Pi 4 and uh, it's the brains for everything. It's mounted to uh, this carriage, which is, runs on these two linear bearings, top and bottom, and they provide the freedom left and right, the lateral freedom, and then Got a linear actuator here that gives you extension, right? It rotates out to plug it in. If you go over to the business end, you can see you've got a, a big servo here and that rotates the charging handle out when it's needed. An ultrasonic distance sensor here so it doesn't hit the car and then a camera which takes pictures and provides it to a, a machine learning model, a TensorFlow light model that runs on the Raspberry Pi. And that's what determines uh, you know, that's how it finds the reflector and charge port and all that. I've also got a light for when it's dark out, and that's using a, a Zigbee protocol. That's what this little transmitter here is. And if you move over here to the board, we've got power supply, uh, motor controllers, all taking commands from the Raspberry Pi, and then a geared motor. And then it actually has uh, outputs for an encoder, and I'm using an Arduino as an encoder, just because that's what I had laying around. So with all that out of the way, we'll go ahead and start it up and I'll walk you through the software so you can see it's booting up. Um, it's first just taking a couple distance measurements to make sure that something is in the garage. And then you probably saw the light come on. That just defaults to on so that uh, if it's dark out, the camera can see the reflector there. So. It's a fairly complex TensorFlow model that I'm running, and it takes about six to eight seconds every time I run an inference on this Raspberry Pi 4. Oh, let's get this out of the way. Uh, so it's not a fast process, but it'll take a picture, it'll run that uh, inference, and what it's looking for right now is a reflector. You can see it found one there uh, with the score of 80%, so it's 80% confident. Go ahead and expand that for you. Uh, it's just going to run it again to make sure machine learning models are sometimes a little finicky, or at least this one that I trained is. Um, once it's sure that something is there, then it'll start translating left and right to center up on it. So that's what it's doing now. So it went a little too far, and now it's coming back. Should be pretty close once it's happy with how it's centered here. It'll turn the light off and then using the Tesla API on, through the Tesla app, it'll open the charge port. I don't have any actuator on the actual charging handle. It's all done through the internet, which is a weak spot of this design, but in a pinch, you know, I've got a second charger I can always just plug in. So it feels like it's pretty centered extending out towards it. So now it's looking for this blue Tesla logo and then also the charge port. But the the Tesla logo is actually much easier to pick out than a charge port, which looks the charge port looks very different from different angles and the logo always looks the same, so it's it was more accurate. That's what it's looking for. It just inches inward. Uh, you can see it deploys the charging handle when it gets this close and now it's just going to race back and forth until it's centered up. This needs a little tuning so this part right here is actually a uh, open loop. I'm not using the encoder. Uh, it works well enough. The only feedback it's getting for left and right is from the camera and then it's just setting a speed and going for a certain amount of time. So could save a couple of, uh, you know, misses here if I program it to use the encoder and it knows exactly how far it's going, but still a work in progress. All right, should be ready to party. So as it does this, it's actually 
The charging handle is a little too flat. So imagine it's sticking in like this and then the spring springs it up, right? And it's allowed to pivot downward. So as it pushes in, it pivots downward into it, the position it should be in. I experimented with a lot of things and that's what worked best. Um, and so there you go. Now it's plugged in. I have scheduled charging on and then it'll, it'll wait. It'll use the Tesla API again to figure out when scheduled charging should be finished. It'll use the Tesla API to release the charging handle and then retract back to its parked position. And that's it.